is Dan Lando. I'm uh, an assistant professor at Well Cornell Medicine, the Department of Medicine, Hematology and Oncology, as well as the Institute of Computational Biomedicine. I also am a attending physician in New York Presbyterian and a core member of the New York Genome Center. There are many intersections between my work as a researcher and my work as a physician. One of those intersections is we actually study the field of cancer evolution, the aspect of how cancer evolves within a patient's body, to see how patients respond to therapy, when do they stop responding to therapy, and to have that context and to be able to now ask what is the underlying evolutionary, biological, genetic narrative and the hope that we can use these insights and go back to the patient and now offer improved therapies. Cancer is an evolutionary process. After the first cell transforms, as the population increases, new changes, mutations and other changes occur at random, increasing the diversity of the population of cancer cells within a patient's body. That is a significant challenge that we face. And I've seen patients that now we can offer them these drugs and really provide spectacular responses. However, the problem is that in many instances those responses are short-lived. And within a span of months and sometimes several years, the cancer through this process of evolution learn how to overcome the therapy and become resistant to the therapy. Our work has identified that genetic diversity within tumors serves as a fuel for the abilities of tumors to evolve and to become more aggressive and resistant. And that means that cancer cells can become more and more aggressive, growing faster and jeopardizing the patient. Our work is focused on finding ways to engineer the evolutionary process such that the tumors are not able to effectively become resistant to therapies. Having that freedom or that support is very meaningful to us. Music